Hi, I'm Kevin Wing, a professional action sports photographer based in Southern California. My specialty is location action photography, specifically street motorcycles, but I also shoot small planes, cars, watercraft, and off-road vehicles. I've shot hundreds of magazine covers over the years, and I've been very fortunate to shoot all over the world. Today we're going to be shooting action photos with Canon's new EOS 5DSR. While the Canon EOS 1DX has been my go-to camera for most fast action situations, the 5DSR has some great features that lend itself to more than just studio or landscape photography. The 5DSR's biggest asset is obviously the 50.6 megapixel resolution. This provides some specific advantages for action photography in a fast-paced shooting environment. When on location, I need to capture vertical shots for covers as well as horizontal shots for two-page spreads. Typically, I will shoot vertical action passes as well as horizontal action passes. With the additional resolution of the 5DSR, I can confidently pull a vertical crop from a horizontal photo with plenty of resolution. If I'm able to shoot horizontal most of the day, then I can shoot more setups. This is a huge advantage, particularly in fleeting light. Lens and focal length selection is another challenge in action photography, especially when shooting action sports. Many times the location and situation can limit how much you can move toward and away from your subject to achieve your desired composition. But with the 5DSR, I can use the crop aspect ratio feature to change the effective lens coverage while still maintaining plenty of resolution for print. The crop mode allows you to select either 1.3 or 1.6 magnification to suit your situation. For example, that turns a 300mm f2.8 into the equivalent of a 390mm in the 1.3 times mode, and 480mm in the 1.6 mode. With this feature, I can quickly change the effective focal length of my lens again, making our shoots more efficient since I'm not lugging around extra lenses and spending time swapping them out. And in many cases, I won't need anything bigger than a 300 millimeter. When shooting fast-moving subjects, nailing focus can be challenging depending on how you are framing your shot. Personally, I use a mix of auto and manual focus. But when shooting autofocus, it's critical to have a system that can keep up with the action and allow you to customize its settings to give you the best chance of nailing the shot. The 5DSR utilizes Canon's 61-point autofocus system, the same one found on the EOS 1DX. I have all the flexibility to select the various modes, AF points, and cases to work for each situation, just like I'm used to on the 1DX. The 5DSR also shoots a respectable 5 frames per second. While that's not as blazing fast as the 12 frames per second on the 1DX, it's still plenty fast for most situations. At the end of the day, for me, the 5DSR does a great job at bridging the gap between medium format quality and the sports focus DSLR. It gives action shooters like me an option if you want to leverage some of the advantages studio photographers have when shooting ultra high resolution. 